True to the Flames mascot, East Softball is quite literally on fire. With a two year long winning streak, it seems that nothing can stop this determined team, not even a global pandemic. We usually start in March. We usually start within the first week of March, but now the spring season was pushed back to the beginning of May. So we lost a full two months of our season. So we jumped right into games. It was more, okay, here's our team, and now the season is starting. Despite the setbacks, the girls still have a positive attitude. I think everyone's a lot more grateful just to be on the field since um, our last season was non-existent. The overall atmosphere of the team, I would say, is very unselfish and we are hardworking because we know um, the kind of things that this team is capable of and we don't want to let any of the talent go to waste. Like we're all very energetic and we all get along so well and we know that we have each other's backs. With such great chemistry on and off the field, the team continues to wow themselves and their fans. Memorable moments this year, I would have to say we played Sweet Home at their field and me and Ella Wazilowski went back to back for um, home runs. Get her feet about shoulder width apart, the pitch. Long drive, deep to left center field, way back, and that one is gone. A home run for Ella Wesolowski, and it's a 7 to nothing. Although the season is bittersweet with the cancellation of state's championships, they still remain optimistic. Not having a state championship this year is very disappointing because I feel like we have a super strong team, and we all put in a lot of work in the off season. So it's disappointing not to be able to play for that honor but um we're still equally as excited to have a chance to compete in the sectional tournament and hopefully bring home a blue patch honestly i'm disappointed that there's not a state championship this year because i believe that we could have gone really far but at the same time you don't want to overlook the games that you have right now I feel like not having states makes us focus more on who we're playing right now, what we need to do to beat them, instead of the long-term like future when we're thinking, oh, so that more down the line, we have to beat this team and this team, because that doesn't work well when you overlook the games that you have right in front of you. And it was this positive attitude that made them the ECIC Division II champions for the fourth year in a row. I believe that our team in future years will continue to be strong. It's difficult though, because when you see all the seniors that are leaving, you think, oh, well, they're gonna be missing their D1 commit pitcher summer. Summer Clark, the batter now. She drives one to deep left, way back. They're going to be missing their D1 commit, Abby, as shortstop and catcher. Comes the 2-2 pitch. Line drive into center field. That's a base hit. That'll score one run. Throw to the plate is cut off. And it's one nothing. East Smith score. Um, and many other players. However, there is still plenty of confidence in the future of East softball. From year to year, people are able to mold and um, just do whatever they need to do in order for the team to be successful. I feel like there's a lot of JV players that um, are going to step up to the plate and be able to replace um, the six or seven seniors graduating this year. I think they're ready. Some tips I would have for future East players is to enjoy the time that you have on this team because it goes by very fast and um, just put in as much work as possible because it's definitely worth it. And also play your heart out. Um, go Flames.